The Vision Grills XD702 Maxxis Kamado in metallic gunmetal gray is the latest Kamado offering from Vision Grills in the extra large size. Today we're going to take a look under the hood and see what it's all about. Let's get started with some of the details on the Kamado. There's a cooking surface of 724.5 square inches on two separate levels. The bottom level is a cast iron grate and the upper level is made of stainless steel. The temperature range can go up to 700 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 371 degrees Celsius. It has dimensions of 33 and a half inches deep and 54 inches wide by 47 and a quarter inches high when fully assembled with the cart and shelves. The shelves themselves are made of a thermoplastic and they're formed to look like wood. Each shelf drops down for storage and has accessory hooks for grilling tools. The weight on the unit is a little over 264 pounds with the cart and shelves, and it's available in two colors, gunmetal gray like you see here, or also in white. The gunmetal gray is a metallic finish, and I haven't seen anything else on the market that's anything like it. Now, Kamados are charcoal grills, and these do best with lump charcoal as the fuel. It can also be converted to propane or natural gas with the optional quick change insert. It's made for both direct hot and fast grilling and low and slow cooking, and in just a bit, I'll walk you through some of the cooks that we've done on this unit. One of the things that Vision corners the market on is how many accessories come in the box. With the Maxxis series, you get a flexible grill light so you can see what you're doing out in the dark, an electric starter to use with the electric starter port that's built into the removable ash drawer. There's even a stainless steel receiver that the starter rests in under the coals so it's easy in and easy out when lighting your charcoal. The top exhaust vent has a cool touch control tab so you can control your temps without having to put on heavy heat proof gloves every time you need to work with your temperature. The top vent has a smoker knob in addition to the main vent control for when you're wanting to cook low and slow, making it easier to dial in lower temperatures. My favorite accessory is the included lava stone, which makes low and slow cooking possible. It enables indirect cooking and also serves as a pizza stone. The storage cart is made of stainless steel and there's storage room for the electric lighter, the lava stone, and the upper cooking grate below. The cart comes with three inch caster wheels and it has two locking wheels to make sure your Kamado doesn't succumb to the wind. The lid is a locking lid so it keeps a tight seal as you cook and helps keep the kids from meddling with the grill. There's also a cover that goes the full length of the grill when installed on the cart. Now let's take a second and talk about assembly on this grill. We assemble between 20 and 30 grills a year here at the Barbecue Lab, and one of the things that I appreciate about Vision is that their assembly is rather quick. It takes just about 20 minutes to take the pieces of the grill out of the packaging, assemble the stand, and bolt on the side shelves. One of the things that I love about Vision Grills is how they include everything you need inside the box for assembly. There's no running out to the garage multiple times for additional tools, and the labeling on the parts inside the box is better than any manufacturer we've encountered so far here at the lab. We get asked quite often how to season different grills when they're newly purchased by those who watch our channel, and with a Kamado grill, there's really no need to season a Kamado. The ceramic that the grill is made out of is baked at over 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, so you don't need to burn off any impurities or manufacturing oils with ceramic Kamados since there aren't any. Now when your new Kamado grill arrives, you can cook on it right out of the box. And another question that we get a lot when people visit the lab is how one goes about lighting a Kamado grill. The Maxxis comes with an electric lighter in the box to use with the starter port that you'll only find in Vision Grills. Simply plug the igniter into power and slide it into the starter port to get things started. It only takes five to 10 minutes for the lighter to have your charcoal ready to go. We also light our Maxxis with tumbleweed fire starters and the loof lighter depending on our mood and all three methods get the job done. 
Now that we've covered the features and the specifications, let's talk about what's really important, how it cooks. We grilled up some ribeye and tri-tip steaks for a get together with friends, and the Maxis put a mean sear on the steak for our guests. We used the grill grate system to get some amazing looking diamond marks, and it must have been good because there weren't any leftovers. Fire roasted tomatillo salsa has been our go-to this past summer and fall, ever since we planted a swath of tomatillos in our garden. We fire roast the onion, jalapenos, and the tomatillos on the grill, and it's changed the way that we do Mexican food. We've even got a recipe video out on this one, so check it out if you're ready to up your salsa game. We have a regular group of guys who come over to the lab and do some cooking, and one night it was huli huli chicken over charcoal on the Maxis. The guys did a great job, even though they hadn't had much experience with a Kamado style cooker before. One of my favorite foods from the state fair is the pork sati babi. It's small bites of pork that are marinated in an Asian inspired sauce and grilled over charcoal. We've been working on our recipe using the Vision Grill, and we're close to releasing that recipe video here on the channel. So make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it, because that's going to be a killer recipe. So that covers grilling hot and fast. Now when it comes to smoking on the Vision Grill's XD702 Maxis, everything you need comes in the box. This is a departure from how many other manufacturers handle this, as additional accessories need to be purchased to give their grills the ability to cook low and slow. There is a lava stone and bracket included in the box from Vision that creates an indirect barrier between the fire and your food, making sure you can smoke and not sear for long cooks at low temperatures. Here are a few of the recipes we've smoked on the XL from Vision. One of my favorite ways to cook a chuck roast is indirect over charcoal with some wood chunks to provide the smoke. We took a two pack of chuck roasts from Sam's and put some rub on them over low heat for about four hours before we added some liquid to the pan and braised the meat until it fell apart. On the Maxis, there's enough room for a half hotel pan with space to spare and indirect cooking is easy and delicious. We've also started smoking meatballs whenever it's Italian night here at home. Using the lava stone to cook indirectly, we just place the meatballs on the wire rack and let the Maxis bring the smoke to Italian night. Spatchcock chicken is another family favorite, and there's easily enough room for a spatchcock chicken and even a spatchcock turkey if you wanted. That's the beauty of going with an XL Kamado. There's simply room for more. Our kid's absolute favorite is the pork butt, and this one was a boneless butt we picked up from Costco, and we trussed it up so it wouldn't fall apart or have sections dry out during the cook. We used the lava stone to make sure we were cooking indirect, and put a couple of pecan wood chunks in the charcoal for smoke. Pecan smoked pulled pork sandwich is where it's at around here, and everyone loves seeing the smoke rolling out of the top of the Maxis. For our installation, we have our Maxis Kamado installed in our outdoor kitchen on a Kamado storage drawer. This keeps it out of the rain and gives us ample storage below the grill to keep everything from bags of lump charcoal to smoker wood chunks, accessories, and more. If you'd like to learn more about the Vision Grill's XD702 Maxis Kamado, check out the link in the description below and it will direct you to the Vision Grill's website for more information. If outdoor cooking is your thing, please consider subscribing. We review the best in outdoor cooking and outdoor living and share recipes and techniques to make sure your backyard is the place to be all year round. We put out videos every week and we'd love to have you join us. You can also connect with us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, where we post sales and deals on outdoor cooking equipment and show you behind the scenes on what's happening here at the lab. Thanks for spending the last little bit with us, and I can't wait to see you next time right here on the Barbecue Lab.